All right, happening now, we're going back to the Supreme Court where the latest round of opinions are in this morning. It was the case involving homelessness and loitering laws. The Supreme Court is permitting cities to enforce bans on homeless people sleeping outside, even if shelter space is lacking. And this ruling comes as a rising number of people in the United States are without a permanent place to live. There are four cases left, folks, including presidential immunity and a January 6th case. But let's dig into this ruling with defense attorney and former federal prosecutor Scott Fredrickson, who joins me now. Uh, Scott, so this was an interesting case. Um, th this was this had to do with the city of Grants Pass, Oregon, uh, and what they were uh, saying and what they were saying to the Supreme Court is that they wanted to enforce what they call an anti-camping law or statute that allows police and other uh, local officials to remove homeless people uh, from certain areas of a city. Um, but there were others who said that this was cruel and unusual punishment as defined by the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution. So what did the court say? Well, the court uh, in a 63 decision uh, said that the city of Grants Pass can enforce their ordinance uh, prohibiting and punishing uh, homeless people uh, for uh, sleeping and camping out in public spaces. This was uh, an important decision, not just for the city of Grants Pass, but for all over the country, uh, for all the cities and communities dealing with the homeless population. Um, the lower court had said that, look, you can't go in and punish a homeless person when they have no place to go. And that violates the Eighth Amendment cruel and unusual treatment provision. Um, the Ninth Circuit agreed, said, nope, you can't punish homeless. You can't arrest them, detain them, fine them, criminalize this. The Supreme Court overturned that, said, well, yes, you can do that. Uh, the Eighth Amend Amendment does not uh, control our homeless policy. And in this six to three decision made very clear that communities now, such as Grant Pass or San Francisco or New York, Alabama or Texas, can address homeless by uh, the problem by uh, removing the people from public spaces. The other interesting thing about this is this uh, ruling was challenged below by uh, both liberals and conservatives, by the governor of California um, and by the states of Montana and Alabama. They all uh, attempted to overturn this uh, with the idea of retaining control to address homelessness in their communities. The Supreme Court agreed. Yeah, so this is interesting, Scott, because, uh, and I know that the court doesn't deal with what would become now a city or a local problem, right? So the city does have the ability to enforce this anti-camping rule. They can remove homeless people. The Supreme Court says you are not uh, punishing them for the simple act of being homeless, being without a place to stay, uh, without a shelter. But now, of course, what do you do with people <laughs> that you're removing from uh, various public areas? That's something the court is not addressing. But perhaps was there something mentioned in the dissent? Well, the dissent was very strong in posing this and saying, you know, you cannot criminalize a person essentially for the status of being homeless when they have no place to go. So essentially, you're arresting someone for their status of being homeless when they have no place to go, uh, when the city or community has not provided a place for them to go. Um, and so uh, they're saying this does violate the Eighth Amendment. These people don't have a choice, and then you're turning them into criminals. But the Supreme Court uh, took a different view. They're essentially saying, well, the, the policy on this, the power and authority, should reside with the community to determine this. So uh, one shouldn't interpret this opinion to mean that communities are going to go in and start arresting and, and putting people in jail necessarily. Um, and that's why both progressive liberals, uh, such as the governor of California, as well as conservative states, such as Alabama and Montana, challenge this ruling because they want the authority and the power to deal with the uh, homelessness, which at times may mean coming in, doing sweeps, criminalizing uh, people who stay there in violation of their community regulations. So um, this will uh, import a big change in the way communities can deal with homelessness. Uh, all right. And Scott, real quick, in just 30 seconds, how does then the Supreme Court, when, they, when we think about cruel and unusual, there perhaps will be some Americans who will see this ruling and say, this does sound to my non-legal ears like it's cruel and unusual punishment. What did the majority say? The majority says essentially, and I think it's encapsulated with the phrase of the, the, uh, the opinion, which is says, says essentially, look, the Eighth Amendment doesn't 
wrestle the policy and the authority deal with homelessness away from a community. The Eighth Amendment doesn't control uh, policy here. Communities do control. Got and that, that's essentially what it's saying. All right. Uh, Scott Fredrickson, always great to have you, my friend, breaking it down for us. Appreciate you.